Welcome everyone to Apple Insider. We are here with the new 27 inch iMac 2020 edition. And one of the most common questions that we got was whether or not the RAM was user replaceable. And we are here to tell you that yes, it absolutely is. Now, why would you want to upgrade the RAM yourself and how do you do it? Well, let's look. So here we have the new 2020 27 inch iMac 5K. Now, it starts off with 8 gigs of 2666 DDR4 RAM, but if you want to go up to maybe 64 gigs, that immediately jumps you up $1,000, and going to the 128 gig maximum is an even more mind-boggling $2,600. What we're saying is, you should not be buying your RAM from Apple, especially when you can easily and quickly replace it yourself. Our go-to for memory and storage upgrades is OWC, Other World Computing. Here, you can buy 64 gigs of RAM, DDR4 2666 megahertz for only $270. What's more, you can get that maximum 128 gigs for only $600. That is $2,000 less than what Apple charges. If you want to grab any of that RAM, we'll put links down below in the description. But let's look at how to install it. We're going to first start by completely disconnecting everything from our iMac. Then, we're going to put it face down onto a soft surface maybe a towel or a desk mat. We're then going to raise the stand, giving us better access to the RAM cover, as well as a small button that is used to release that cover. Now, we don't really need any fancy tools for this, so you don't have to have anything quite as fancy as this iFixit toolkit. Essentially, you just need something long and strong that you can use to push in that button. Pretty much a finger won't do. Now we do have tools inside of our iFixit toolkit that can get the job done, like this metal spudger, but you can also use just a normal pen that you have lying around. The button just requires a good amount of force to release that RAM door cover. So a pen, uh, maybe a solid knife that my Grove made, task knife here, anything like that will work just fine to go ahead and depress that button all the way in, releasing our RAM cover. With the cover removed, we can see our RAM slots on the inside and the two RAM chips that are currently installed. This is the RAM cover that we talked about. As you can see on the inside, there are some basic instructions on how to remove and install RAM. It's really almost as easy as they make it look in these photos. As you see around the edge of this RAM cover, there are several uh, pins around the outside. Those are just pressure pins using to hold this thing into place. It's really not that fancy. And just remember as you go to put this back in to apply pressure to all sides, making sure not to damage anything. It's very easy to do and of course we'll walk you through it once we get our new RAM installed. Before you can install any new RAM, you do have to remove the existing RAM that you have in there. So to do that, you press on these little pins and the whole RAM cartridge slides forward. You can easily see now there are four RAM slots in this machine. There are two openings as well as two RAM chips already in there. We're going to be upgrading from our base configuration, which was eight gigs. So by default, we have two four gig chips already in our machine. Now removing them is fairly simple, though it does require quite a bit of force. Our first one came out fairly easily, but our second one took a little bit more wiggling and muscle power to get it to be removed. Just be careful, be firm, and you won't damage your machine. With just a few more wiggles, we're able to remove our two RAM modules that came pre-installed in our 2020 27-inch iMac. As we mentioned, we recommend getting the base configuration of RAM, just 8 gigs, and that is two 4 gig RAM modules. The reason why is because you are easily just going to upgrade on your own, so there's no point in paying for it from Apple when you're just going to upgrade it yourself. Once we've gone ahead and removed our base 8 gigs of RAM, we can set these aside and open up our new RAM that we purchased separately. We're then going to go and install them in the same way that we removed them, just sliding them in and firmly pushing them into place. Now, if you're putting four RAM modules in, it does not matter if the order, they just all slide in. So if you are just putting two RAM modules in, you'll make sure they need to be kind of either the the second and fourth or the first and third slots just so they have the proper channels. We installed ours just like our original ones came. Then we're going to take our RAM cover and slide it right over top there and we're going to use two hands and apply equal pressure on all sides as we slide this thing into place. Just some firm pressure and it'll slide right in becoming flush with the back of your iMac. You're then free to plug in your cord and set up your iMac just as you would. You can confirm your new RAM by going into the Apple menu and selecting about this Mac. That is it, you are done, you have upgraded your RAM on your new 2020 27 inch iMac. 
If you want to grab some RAM for yourself or a new iMac, follow the links down below in the description.